Hey, you, I need you to hit the subscribe button below. While he was in prison and stuff. Okay, okay, that's that's, that's uh, for real. Yeah. Because a lot of people do when they go in there, you know what I'm saying? See the Christianity, Islam, stuff like that. You know, pick up different things. It's normal, man. That's what, that's what society teaches our people, right? So, what is uh, the, um, the the thing you might have a question about with the, between the Israelites and the Islam? Okay, well, I'll tell you what, why don't you tell me this? What's your understanding of Islam? I, I can't hear you, bro. Like, basically, like, Okay. Being a statistic in this world, just being a black man. Okay, so it gave you some, uh, uh, gave you more of a conscience because of the situation that got you in that situation. You had no conscience, right? All right, so that's a good thing. So that's a start. So sometimes I think we gotta start somewhere, especially back in like the 60s, 70s, 80s. A lot of times that was a big thing, you know what I'm saying? Pushing that because it helped our people do what? Have a different uh, cause, have a different reason for living, and start and start looking around. The stuff that's around us and saying, man, this is messed up. How am I gonna fix it? How am I gonna change it?
Where do we have to go to for your water? Where do we have to go to to get your food? Who controls all the commerce in the world? Who controls the produce right now in the world? Who controls all the money in this world, right? What, what race of people controls that? White people. All okay. praise. So you all recognize it. God said in the Bible, please read word for word. God showing you that those are your enemies. The Israelites, right? We know. And we shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Even more specific. God said that that same enemy, because these curses are going to be upon you and your family and your generations to come, that that same enemy is going to put a yoke of iron upon your neck. That's not literal. I mean, that's not, um, yeah, it's not literal. That's physical. You see what I'm saying? I actually had chains put on our neck. Look at this. That's why we brought these signs out so you can see, so you can reminisce and figure out and keep remembering how they did us. They even got museums that you can see right here. They got museums showing them all the, all the ancient hand
prophecies in that book is unfilled. Everything that happened came true. Where to even begin the prophecy that we would be on top if we keep the commandments of God, right? And then we read the curses. If we don't keep the commandments, we're going to be on the bottom. Kids took it from us. We're going to go to the enemy for water, for food, for drink, for clothes. For anything we need in this life, we're going to go to our enemies. So God's showing you things in the, in the Bible that has come to pass. That's why it says none of us shall fail. Problem is, I have never had anybody in Islam come and give me a prophecy out of the Quran. I've never seen that. They always say, submit to the word of Allah, do this, do this, do that, do this. But then they don't turn around and give me no prophecy on where I come from, where I am right now, and where am I headed? What is my salvation? Right? They're not teaching, the, teaching that. That's why I had to walk away from it. When I got older and got out of my parents' house and started reading on my own, I said, nah, this don't make no sense. What's the end game? What's the end game? You tell me. You say you, you understand it. You, you follow with it. What do they teach you with the end game in Quran? Gods 
of the Arabs. Uh -huh. They're caught in tribal warfare, uh -huh. their loose morality, Rich. and their political disunity. Loose morality. You know what that goes into? All these dang old wives they got. Having five, six, seven, eight wives, and they're having a harem. And they're still trying to enslave people when they have sex with them too. They were wilding out. Trust me, they was wilding out big time. We don't. These factors influence them in starting a new religion. Starting what? These factors influence them in starting a new religion. So he started a new religion. That's a new thing. So if it's a new thing and we tell you that we're the gods of Israel, I mean we're the sons of his sons of God of Israel, of, of, of God of Israel, and that's a new religion, how is that going back to the most high God? It's not. It's false, it's false doctrine. Let me show you something here. Hey, you do wrong thirty two so uh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Flip it around. Yeah, it's right on, it's right on top. Right on top. Right on top. Oh, you didn't want that one over here. What we want to show you is, this is, this is called man-made religions. And we're showing you the history of Muhammad right now. The same prophet Muhammad that everybody said they follow. It's a man-made religion. You see at the bottom right there, it says it's Islam Muslim. So I got, let me get specific. Which one did you say you learned? Five percent of nation Islam. Sunni, which one was it? Five percent? Okay. Yeah, that was, uh, I think the rich leader for that one was uh, Clan 13X, right? Out of New York, but he used to be with the Nation of Islam. Right, correct. So, so the same thing is here, the same doctrine, because they all submit to this man right here. Right? That won't be who? Muhammad? No. Wallace. See right there, this is Wallace, was, what is Wallace D. Farad Muhammad? He's the one supposed to so called brought the, the uh, Islam religion to America and taught it to the black folks. Was he learned from who, what, Nobu Drew Ali and all them, all that crazy mess? It's a bunch of madness, man. But how can you say you in Islam and you a Muslim and you bowing down and, and paying homage or respect to a, a Turkish white man who taught you Islam? You're a black man, so-called black man. We show you in the Bible that you're an Israelite. We show you in this book you're reading right now that Muhammad hung around the Israelites. Learned religion from the Israelites and then got, got confused on why Islam is following 365 guys, but the Jews only follow the one. Right? It's confusion, man. All this stuff is man-made religion. You see that box right down there? You seen that before? What is that? I can't tell you all the back because I ain't seen it in a long time. Okay, that box right there represents that, that, that rock that they go and worship when they go do their highs, right? All right, we're going to read that in this book, too. we got to highlight this book because we're showing you that this stuff is not of God. That's why the book is entitled Satan is Angels. It means the men, the men that are on earth that does Satan work because it's not bringing you back close to God. It's not giving you solutions. It's not teaching you how to be a man and raise your household the correct way according to how God designed it for us, right? All right, go ahead and read all what you got. from God. 
Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.